<laughs> I am sure Mr Speaker would take a dim view if I refused to answer the Honourable Lady's question. <laughs> If I just stood here in silence because I didn't fancy doing it or I objected strongly to the content and tone of it, he might ask, if I had done that, why I would have shown up this morning, if I was not prepared to do my duty in this House, if I were not prepared to show respect to this House. It would be a bit like attending the Cenotaph and not singing the National Anthem. Uh, the Honourable Lady displays a distinct lack of self-awareness. Um, I, I, I grow tired each week of uh, reading out statistics to her about the performance of her own government, but she, since she invites me again, let me just give her two that address the issues that she raises. Uh, in England, the NHS 18-month waiting lists are down by 90 since September uh, uh, 2021. And in Scotland, if you are a doctor or a head teacher, uh, you will be paying approximately £2,000 more in tax. Um, There are... I I will continue uh, to do my duty to this House and just remind the SNP of their appalling record in government, which is uh, obvious to everyone uh, except uh, them. 